Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Barash Reviews. And today I'm going to take a look at the Shadow Slate Lumerian from Savage Crucible. Yes. I just want to say thank you to the guys at Harbinger Studios for trusting me on reviewing this figure. I mean, these guys are supporting my channel and I need to say this because, you know, you need to give credit to the people you know like and and savage crucible is not just an amazing um action figure line but they're always been supporting with my channel my instagram and all my social media i mean i'm a huge fan uh man william and all the team kevin dallis nikki nicole uh matt Arturo, everybody on the team uh man they're amazing people but I need to give them credit. They trust me on my reviews, and, and and you know, like I'm super excited. I'm super thankful. I'm super humbled by them. They did not tell me anything about this. They just sent me this figure my way for me to review for you guys, and they sent this like little letter right here with the figure and. What I want to say is like, I know pretty much the story of Harbinger Studios, but I'm going to read it a little bit right here. And so they just say, thank you for taking a look at the Shadow Slate, you know, like um, from Savage Crucible. We told to provide the background information, whatever this and that. And, you know, like the background information is pretty much like the story about Harbinger Studios. And I'm going to read it a little bit. Along with operating successful and 3D printing and action figures customization companies since um, 2019, my action figure custom Harbinger Studios Inc. was formed in 2022 by William Robert Post. The studio's first line of highly articulated action figures is Savage Crucible in 2023. Um, M-A-F-C, or my action figure customs, retired all previous part sculptors as the focus shifted to Savage Crucible. Now the Savage Crucible has been released, we are ready to fire up at M-A-F-C, or my action figure customs, once again to offer custom parts for Savage Crucible. Wave 1 saw the release of the first late. Yes, that was such a great looking figure. And this is the thing. Uh, the Savage Slate was a blank slate. Wave 1 Dark Green Lumerian Slate was offered during the Kickstarter in 2023 at the price of 15 bucks. Yes, guys, 15 bucks. Really incredible, that price. The slate has paint apps only on the eyes and mouth and features construction from dynamically co uh, colored plastic. Slates are geared towards army building, uh, customizing, combining with our character packs, or even collecting as is. Like me, I, I mean, I do some stuff, but not like customizers. I've seen people doing crazy stuff with this uh, Lumerian uh, slate. It's, it's crazy. Additional Wave 3 has a Pyranoid Slate that will be released with that wave in 2025. Um, man, we uh, they quickly realized that they stayed here that the Slate was really, you know, popular uh, in the community. And what they did was offering this beautiful action figure here for the people. Pretty much. That, so, man, I, I mean... <sighs> Dude, these guys always thinking on their fans. And this slate right here is pretty much, um, uh, here you go, guys. We're thankful with you guys. And it's pretty much same thing as this one, which is the first slate. The first figure I reviewed for them was the Lumeri Lemurian slate, which is this one right here. But I have with all the pretty much custom parts, not custom, but their um, accessory pack. And this figure to me was, man, a blast to review. And I love the simplicity of this figure. So I'm assuming this Shadow Lem uh, Slate Lemurian is going to be pretty much the same. Already, um, uh, Bill from uh, Dork Layer reviewed this figure for you guys, but I'm going to try to do my best. So again, thank you so much, Savage Crucible, Harbinger Studio, William, and all his amazing team, and um, Eric, everybody. 
uh, man thank you so much for trusting me trusting my channel and let me show you the package so pretty simple package same as the lemurian slate so the shadow lemurian right here again here and the back like a little bit of bio and stuff like that boom right here savage crucible pretty much that's it so let's go and take a look at the figure in here we have the shadow slate guys oh my god i'm super excited this figure looks incredible oh my god as always i always say this like sometimes with uh, some figure lines less is more and to me i'm gonna be honest with you like the slate from the beginning was my favorite not just because i did the first review on that figure and i was honored to do the review on that on that figure for them at the beginning but uh, i don't know you can appreciate all the sculpting on these figures and um, with all the simplicity on it like the less things I, on top of, of his body i can appreciate more that sculpt and the whole idea of the of the line and this figure is just beautiful and i'm gonna show you right away so let's go right away into the details on this guy so this is an army builder and you can see i mean the eyes are painted beautifully beautifully and the teeth man the mouth inside look at that so awesome and the skin the skin texture is insanity guys i love i love how he looks i love the color man more dark that's crazy i love it so let me put him next to the regular lemurian and man i love this color scheme on this figure man there you have guys some people were like complaining and i understand they were like oh my god i i skip on that figure because i thought there will be more i mean i know you may like the green but this color right here i honestly prefer this color i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest with you love it love it i love this color and it looks just fantastic man harbinger studios you guys killing it with this line i love what a time to be an action figure collector man you have everything you need now it's fantasy man you have so many toy lines man you have set ray studios you have four horsemen studios you have harbinger studios you have a walk man uh, man so many toy lines so many awesome action figures i mean just name it it's, it's, it's i'm out of pretty much breath and worth to describe how excited i am also neca toys with their dungeons and dragons man like eh, for settle girls with their fire and ice figures man it's incredible but Savage Crucible, man, Savage Crucible has a very special place on my heart because since day one, I've been following this toy line since day one. And I still remember three years ago uh, and Paracon, man, that table, William was there with his prototypes and I was blown away with the amazing detail and all the passion he put on this action figure line and that to me was right there the key moment i fall in love with the line and and the community is such a great community i love all the guys in the community man there's so such a great people there uh, shout out to everybody at the savage crucible facebook group and also to my brothers and the photography group that we have we have a saturday showcase and collaboration on instagram so check that out like saturday savage saturdays uh, we show pictures of our action figures so savage crucible figures that's really cool so pay attention to the instagram and they also showcase the the or highlight the fi the figures and the photography on the on the facebook page so pay attention to that too but yeah i'm super excited so let me go right away and take a look at the uh, articulation on this guy it's very simple i mean savage crucible you know what you get so you have a double ball joint here which makes you tilt go up go down by that much tilt side to side and rotate totally shoulders you have the beautiful butterfly joint boom right there you can go up by uh, 90 degrees let me show you here 90 degrees right here and you can have a bicep 
floating bicep rotation here, double joint on the elbows, past 90, hinge and swivel on the wrist, of course, uh, articulation on the torso, insane, look at that, back like that, that's insanity, side to side, that's rotation, Savage Crucible, articulation is insane, kick high by that much, upper tight swivel, split, total split, the tail move up and down and rotate side to side, and we have double jointed knees right here, boom, right there, beautiful, and we have ankle rocker and toe hinge right here on this figure. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, also, we have on the skirt, we have some peg holes right here for all the accessories. On the back, you have the peg holes also for the accessories. I don't know if I was out of focus. I was so excited. I think I put the figure out of focus. I'm sorry. So pretty much right there. Let me put the guy here. <sighs> right there. And man, it looks so awesome. Accessories, he comes with two open hands, two grabbing hands, and this one is different than the uh, actually Slate Lumerian, the green one. This one comes with two swords right here. Very, very awesome um, sculpt here, but they're like non-painted at all, so you can paint them and do whatever. As I said, these figures right here, the slates are figures to do customization or army build like I did with this one. Let me put uh, the, the shadow here on the side and let me bring the actual regular Lumerian. All these parts right here are from the accessory pack. You have this skirt right here, the collar right there, the, 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 the actual weapon, pretty cool. You have all these skulls that you, as you can see, you can attach from the actual thing. Really awesome, man. Really awesome looking figure and man, they look so cool next to each other. This is really, really amazing. Really, really awesome. So there you go, guys. Um, let me put this guy right here and let me put some uh, do some size comparison with this guy. So let me bring Como of the Isle, another amazing figure from Savage Crucible right there next to him. Pretty cool, pretty awesome, pretty amazing. Let me bring from Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, He-Man right there. Pretty cool. Let me bring from Seth Ray Studios a Roman soldier. Pretty awesome. And last but not least, let me bring the Valiant Knight from Mythic Legions. Pretty awesome. So there you go, guys. That was my review on the Shadow Lumerian Slate from Savage Crucible and Harbinger Studios. By the way, doop, this was my card. Remember, always check your cards underneath the package. Really cool. I was missing this one. So these are the same swords as this one, as you can see. Those are the swords that comes with the uh, Imperial Guard. So pretty cool, pretty awesome. Again, Harbinger Studios, William, all his team, Savage Crucible team. Thank you, thank you so much for supporting my channel. You guys rock. This line is, man, the sky is just the limit with Savage Crucible. I'm so excited to see what's coming. I can't wait to have those barbarians in my hands. Oh my God, I'm a huge Frasetta fan, so I need that ball and chain warrior. Man, so excited for that. Human, oh Jesus, he looks impressive. Everybody, man, thank you so much again, guys. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends. Talk to you later.